news arts known first the highlights the legacy government recognizes outstanding student in 2023 west african senior school certificate examination House of Representatives summon ministers of her ports concessions. And the Foreign and International Criminal Court issues arrest warrants for top Russian commanders. And in sports, Arsenal midfielder Ethan Waneri to sign record breaking deal after CT offer. And now the details I am Mike James. The government has recognized outstanding student in the 2023 West African Senior School Certificate Examination, WASC. This is through the collaborative effort of Success Box Academic Excellence Award with a sum of 2 million naira for six outstanding students from six educational districts of the state. Speaking at the event held in Alausa, Commissioner for Basic and Secondary Education, Jamie Ali Balogun commended Governor Saulu's administration for well-thought-out policies in the education sector and employment of well-qualified teachers that prepared the students along their career path. The initiator of the Success Books Academic Excellence Award, Uluatusi Kuijo, noted that the gesture is part of a corporate social responsibility aimed at encouraging and promoting excellence in the education sector and the partnership with Lagos State Government to celebrate students in the state's public schools for their academic strides. Brought together the best students across Lagos State Public Schools and to celebrate them for their academic strides. Uh, the selection was, uh, was based uh, purely by merits and we gathered to, to put together what we call the Success Box Excellence Award. Speaking on behalf of other recipients of the award, the overall best students, Uluwatishi Akinkowo, with seven as and two BS, uh, seven AS, I beg your pardon, and two BS in the 2023 West African Senior School Certificate Examination, appreciated the Legacy Government for providing an enabling learning environment and engaging students in competitions for academic excellence while appreciating the teachers for their efforts and commitment. This is a collective responsibility. Everything that makes us stand out is because of the police of the Lagos State Government. For example, in our public schools, we have different measures to be placed for us to reach for the purpose of our education. We are giving the best environment to show the best performance. To whom much is given, much is expected. We know that Lagos State Government has given us much, so we must put in our best to appreciate them. Received the sum of one million naira, while the other five students got two hundred thousand naira each. In continuation of its enforcement operations to unlock traffic bottlenecks across the state, operators of the Lake State Traffic Management Authority in Lasma have impounded 123 vehicles over illegal parking across Lagos mainland. The general manager of Lasma, Olaliko Bakaruki, who led a combined enforcement team with security personnel said the exercise was carried out based on the directive of the special advisor to the governor on transportation, Cholagiwa. Bakaruki said the agency swung into action after several warnings issued to both private and commercial bus drivers to stop and discriminate parking and illegal garages around bridges were not complied with. He confirmed that the vehicles were impounded around Ibuteru by Dumota Bridge, Simpson Bridge, Akwongbo Onda Bridge and Elegbata area of Lagos Island. Bakaruki said owners and drivers of the vehicles, including 19 hoodlums, who were arrested during the enforcement of an illegal collection of parking dues from innocent motorists, will be prosecuted at the Legacy Mobile Court for contravening the Legacy Transport Sector Reform Law 2018. In continuation of measures to address the food inflation and cost of living crisis, the federal government says it has so far intercepted 141 trucks attempting to smuggle grains and other staples of to Niger Republic, Chad, Cameroon and the Central African Republic. Controller General of the Nigerian Customs Service, Bashar Adeni, 
Made this known while discussing the measures being enforced to ensure food security at the House of Representatives in Abuja. And then he said several trucks and warehouses, most, mostly owned by manufacturers and other members of the organized private sector, have come under attack from hoodlums as the food inflation and the cost of living crisis in the country spiraled. Briefing federal lawmakers on the enforcement of the presidential directive to curtail food smuggling during the sectoral debate series, the Customs CG and President Bola Tinubu had given a directive that the arrested trucks be diverted to the local market in the area where they were arrested to force down the prices of grains and other food items. And now to the rest of the stories. So representatives has some of the ministers of blue economy, Buigawi Tola, and his transportation counterpart, Seydou Alkali, of alleged fraudulent concession of some ports infrastructure. The chairman of the House Committee on Privatization and Commercialization, Ibrahim Hamisu, issued a summons at a meeting with the seaport terminal operators in Abuja. Hamisu told the port stakeholders that they were invited to the meeting to discuss how best to address the prolonged renewal process because of the need to attract investment into critical port infrastructure, which is one of the major focuses of this administration. The committee members expressed this pleasure at the alleged shady manner the concession process was managed, which had allowed five companies to be operating for five years without renewal, thereby leading to huge loss of revenue to the federal government. Protesters under the ages of concerned citizens of Edo State have protested the deplorable condition of federal roads in the state, barricading the Jatu axis of Benin Auchi Highway. The protesters, drawn from various communities in Auchi, disrupted commercial activities and vehicular movement over the worsening condition of the highway. The chairman of Etsaku West Council, Marvelous Zimiri, described the level of insincerity lack of political will and lack of total commitment by the federal government to address the situation, which has led to untold hardship and loss of economic prosperity. Zimiri called on the federal government through the Federal Ministry of Works and Housing to take urgent action to repair the federal roads in the state, which are in a state of disrepair and pose a serious threat to the safety and well-being of the people. And in some foreign news, the International Criminal Court, ICC, has issued arrest warrants for top Russian commanders of alleged war crimes in Ukraine. Sergei Kobilash and Viktor Suklov, an Army Lieutenant General and a Navy Admiral, are the two men named by the ICC. This is a second round of warrants for Russian officials related to the war in Ukraine. The first were for President Vladimir Putin and his children's rights envoy. Russia does not recognize the ICC, making it highly unlikely they will ever be deported to face the charges. The ICC said the latest warrants were due to there have been reasonable grounds to believe that the two suspects were responsible for missile strikes carried out by the forces under their command against the Ukrainian electric infrastructure. And over to sports news, Arsenal sensation Ethan Wanneri is set to sign a record-breaking deal after Man City tabled a substantial offer. Wanneri's current scholarship agreement will be converted into a professional deal in the fourth ninth time following fierce competition from Premier League sides for his services. Reports as Man City has made a substantial offer for the attacking midfielder while Chelsea also held strong interest. The 2007 born star has already been given the highest ever wages for an academy player in Arsenal's history in what is a record-breaking deal for the club. He is highly regarded by manager Miguel Arteta and the club's hierarchy for his development since joining the academy in 2016. The Englishman of Nigerian descent made his first senior appearance for the Gunners last season as a late substitute in their 3-0 away win against Brentford to become the youngest ever Premier League player at 15 years and 181 days old. 
That was our news at 12. But just before we go, stay alive. Make use of pedestrian bridges where available. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms. X, formerly Twitter, Traffic Radio 961. Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Watch us live on Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. On YouTube, subscribe and watch all our previous programs and news on our channel, Traffic Radio 961. Did you know that the Sawulu administration trained 150 small-scale business owners in digital marketing? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website and to end the news, here are the highlights of the major stories. The Lagos State Government has recognized outstanding students in the 2023 West African Senior School Certificate Examination WASC. The House of Representatives has summoned the ministers of Blue Economy, Boiga Uyitola, and his transportation counterparts, Saidu Al-Kali, of our alleged fraudulent contention of some ports infrastructure. We also told you that the International Criminal Court, ICC, has issued arrest warrant for top Russian commanders of our alleged war crimes in Ukraine. And then in sport, Arsenal sensation Ethan Waneri is set to sign a record-breaking deal after Man City tabled a substantial offer. For contact with the newsroom, send a message to Lagos Traffic Radio at lagosstate.gov.ng. The Lens and News broadcast is also compiled by Adiswai Joyoka. Thank you for listening. My name is Mike James. Good afternoon.